I think this is okay. From the reasonable scales like city building, etc., to the country, island, landmass, to the planet, to the sub universal slash galaxy, and then universe and multiverse. All right. So, May, Mai, whoever she is in the future, she's like, re she can't do anything. All right. And also, I'm going to like speed through this. You're not, you're not getting large justifications from me because it's going to take so long otherwise. But have we ever seen her do anything of note? Does she even, she can't even fly, right? She's nothing. Useless. Uh, Pilaf, I don't know if he has like some ability that I'm just like forgetting, but I feel like he just does nothing. He's like a, he's like a normal person with like minions under him thing is that Roshi destroys a moon in the first tournament, then it takes until Frieza for a planet to be destroyed. Oh yeah, I guess also we're taking everyone at the end of their stories, all right? Um, well, yeah, doesn't matter. We're doing it. We're doing planet scale, all right? Oh, Jesus. We're stepping up immediately. So this is like God of Destruction Topo. I'm going to put him in, you know what? There's probably a better way to do this, which is to like go through the really high, like really strong people. Like, okay, okay. All right, all right. Whis. Multiversal, one of the strongest, obviously, all right? Even the charged up Broly couldn't land a single attack on him, all right? And I think, I think it's pretty obvious why he's so high up, right? He's one of the angels. Uh, who else is there that's, like, really strong? Zeno. Zeno is, like, I don't know, multi they're, like, the definition of multiversal. But also, I feel like if Goku punched him, like, landed a punch on him, I think he'd probably die, right? That's what I assume. I think the headcanon in the fandom is that he, like, uses magic and he's not actually that strong. That's my head cannon too. I kind of agree with that. So multiversal. But who knows? Glass cannon? Is that what they say in the power scaling things? I think. Probably what he is. Uh, who else is like super duper strong? I was gonna say Mr. Popo, but that's just like my DBZA brain rot. Where's the Grand Priest or whatever? He's like really strong, right? Whatever. All right. Topo. I mean, I don't know if he's like multiversal. He's probably he's just universal. I think I'll probably end up shuffling these, but. Go to Destructions, they can like destroy a whole universe, I'll put him in universal level. Um, Jiren, he's pretty stronger than... Actually, well he's not really multiverse. Oh, I can't even, I can't do it with these like, names here. You know what, we're, you know what, we're abandoning this. Cause I can't even, I just can't. Cause like, I would consider Jiren to be in the top tier of strength. But like, I don't think he can destroy a multiverse, you know? We're going, we're going back to the letters, right? S, A, B, C, D, E. And maybe I'll move Jiren down a bit after we get a bit more entries in here. Uh, why is there two Gokus here? They're both, I mean, Goku is like one of the strongest, you know, he's got the Ultra Instinct. One of them is like mastered and one isn't, I'm guessing. Um, Vegeta's probably topper level. I don't know if like, I feel like he gets like some, I, I'm not up to date in the manga, but I think in the manga he gets like stronger, but in the anime he's like, um, Android 17 is probably a B tier. Like, he's strong enough to make it to the Universal Tournament of Power, so I put him there. Ribrian can be probably B tier as well. I guess anyone who's in the tournament is probably at least B tier, right? Yeah, I'll put all these. These are all the mid sands. I guess Kefla. I mean, is there, I mean, Kale. Does she have her ascended form here? I guess she is technically like really strong. I don't think she's on their level. This is terrible. I can't do power scaling. Now that I think about it. Because like these, she's like way stronger than these three. At least when she's angry. But then there's like, I feel like there's not enough gaps here between like these people and like the really weak people. So maybe, you know what, we'll add it one more tier below. And then we're moving these people down. Kefla. Probably, yeah, on the A level with the rest of these three. Uh, this Gohan thing, I get the feeling that he's really strong. He did that really strong thing in the movie that one time. So I feel like he's really strong. Order doesn't matter yet. We'll fix that later. Uh, she can eat, she, she, can she even fly? No diff? Absolutely. What does no diff even mean? I don't know. No diff is like, but well, it's not even close when you compare it to characters. Jiren and Toppo being compared to Gods of Destruction was so hype, man. That's true. Yeah, I agree. Some would say... That power scaling is the hardest job in the world, don't worry. I know it's just impossible. There's like so many factors you have to consider. And it's the fact that red is on the top by default in the tier list infuriates me. And that's the perfect color. It's the power of rage and or well, the color of rage and passion. Should be RGB, Y R. No, red is the best. We love red. All right. Yellow Piccolo. I feel like he's like, he's too strong for his own good. I mean, he's, I feel like he was really strong in the movie. Now, maybe he's not really, but to me, he's in this AT. He's up there with all these characters. Um, yeah, same with this guy. That guy was also really strong, but he wasn't as strong as this guy. So maybe you're not B tier for this guy. <laughs> and just like a D. Giru, probably down here. Oh my God. Have they got like the multiple versions of Trunks in here? Oh my God, they do. Okay, this is, I don't even know which version this is. From the art style, it looks like uh, Super Future Trunks. Like, he looks younger for some reason. Probably B. No, probably C. This guy, C. He can, like, turn you into metal or something. That was scary. Um, baby Vegeta. It's tough, because you can't really compare Dragon Ball Super to GT, because, like, the scales of power is so different. Because I feel like Mastered Ultra Instinct is, like, so much stronger than anything. Even remotely, like, the most powerful thing in Dragon Ball GT. So, put him in B. But I feel like he's really strong, you know, intuitively. That's GT Trunks? 
I don't know. Uh, I can't even open it. He looks too, like, shiny for the GT art style. He doesn't look like it. But I guess he could be from, like, the first arc, maybe. Uh, V-I-B-G-Y-O-R. Is that violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red? Yeah, I guess, technically. Um, no, you're wrong. Axe smug. Uh, no, you're wrong. Uh, that's GT trunks. Yeah, super is stronger and better than GT. I mean, super is undeniably stronger, and GT is undeniably better, so we'll have a nice compromise there. Super 17 is on the B level. He can, like, absorb your power, which, like, whenever they can do that, it's crazy. Um, he beat Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so crazy. And speaking of which, but if we go to the end of the series, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is pretty damn strong, so I'll put him in A tier here. Uh, this guy, I mean, I feel like he fought Super Saiyan 4 Goku to stalemate. I feel like that's pretty good. Gogito, we're putting him in the S tier, because I don't care if he's, you know, canonically not as strong. To me, he feels strong, so that's why I put him in S tier. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. End of series Goku for Dragon Ball GT. I feel like he's, he's A. I don't think he's that strong, but he's also pretty strong, you know. Um, what was his name? Zamas? Zamasu? He's a god. He eventually gets really strong. Hmm. I don't remember who was stronger, Goku Black or Zamasu? I feel like, anyway, I'm putting him in B, because that's like the impression I got. Oh, it's going to take so long. All right, wait a minute. This cat thing does nothing. I don't even know. Oh, Corrin or something? Cal, they can go in E, and Pan would crush them. Arale, she's like, she's like ST. She's got that tune factor, right? Like, she's like Saitama, basically. She'll always win. She's probably stronger than Whis, honestly. If they fought, she'd probably win. Um, General Blue, I would usually put him in E, but the fact that he can freeze people is like a terrifying ability. So I would put him in D. Maybe in C, like up there with even, you know, Kale, uh, she's Caulifla and all these people. But, you know, we'll put him in D because that one ability is OP. Launch is like a down here. King Piccolo. I actually don't know how strong he is, but I'll put him up there with Pan. I don't think I've actually seen much of the King Piccolo, st Piccolo stuff. This guy, probably this tier, probably at the lower end of this tier. He's like the master for Chaozu and Tien, right? I think. Krillin. I mean, Krillin's, Krillin's probably Pan level. <laughs> Remember when he fought Goku in Dragon Ball Super and we're meant to believe that he's like, <laughs> like we're meant to respect him now because he like got one hit or something. I don't know. That was silly. Um, Raditz. This level. Mm, this level, actually, now that I think about it. There is, like, such a divide between all these series. Like, all the Dragon Ball characters are so weak compared to, like, all the Dragon Ball Z characters that are so weak compared to all the Dragon Ball GT characters that are so weak compared to all the Dragon Ball Super characters. Many people are saying that in the manga, Beerus is still stronger than Goku, but Blue Vegito is stronger than Beerus. I mean, that sounds reasonable to me. I don't know. Unless you're... Well, Beerus hasn't mastered Ultra Instinct, right? So, I guess whoever masters Ultra Instinct should be stronger? I don't know. But also, I could just be wrong. These things are D. What are they called? Cybermen? 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 I don't know. Oolong? Wait, why did I put new? F. F tier. Nappa is in D. <laughs> I don't know which Vegeta this is, but like probably A, right? Just no matter, regardless of the Vegeta. Oh my god, I can't do this. I can't do like multiple versions of a character. What is this? Kaioken Goku from like the first arc? I mean, he's probably on the D level, right? Up there with Nappa, or probably higher than Nappa. Uh, you know, he's probably on the C level. And then this Vegeta, I'm just saying, like, base Vegeta is probably on a very similar level. King Kai, probably this level, D level. I don't even know. Is this Gohan? <laughs> I have no idea. But also probably, probably C. Is this, okay, is this Bardock or is it the, that darker Goku in that one Christmas thing? Uh, is it, like, Turles or whatever? Is this Goku Black? I have no idea who this is. I think it's Turles from the Christmas thing. Is that what, it, what is that even his name? I don't think so. Where is he? Probably, probably D, right? Lord Slug, probably also D. Oh my god, this is, this is truly an impossible task, because now I feel like, I think Khalifa should be higher. You know what, I think these three, Rivrian, 17, Khalifa, they should be higher. GT Trunks can stay down there. Alright, Wheeler with D. Yajirobe, E. Actually, I don't even know if he's ever done anything of note, like strong-wise, strength-wise, so I think he's probably F. Uh, the Doria, is that his name? Her name? His name? Is that like not canon? I don't remember. Oh my god, now I need to think. Sand Saga, stronger than everything beforehand. I'm oh, not Sand Saga, Freezer Saga. Probably C, right? Carrot person? E, but also the fact they can turn people into carrots. I'll bump them up. They're going D tier. That's pretty powerful of an ability. Oh my god, there's so much more. Okay, um, is this Zarbon? If so, probably up there with the Dorio. Nail, I assume. Probably also up there with the Dorio. Um, Dende? Probably E, but they have like a crate, you know, they can create the dragon, which is what Dragon Ball is like named after, so yeah, Giru probably also, not Giru. Oh my god, what's his name? Guru? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It's been so long. I'll put him in F. She's probably strong back in the day, but I've never seen him get off that chair, so it's pretty weak. 
Oh boy. Okay, wait. I gotta open my window. Oh my god. And hot near as well. All right. So they, it looks like they have all the freezers here. All right, all the different versions. Where are they? Okay. Base freezer is C. Really strong freezer, like in final form. But this is also not Dragon Ball Super. It looks like. Um, is also <laughs> C probably. Right. Um, and then coming back, they're probably also C. So freezer is getting stuck in the C tier. Uh, then we have the Ginyu Force. They would. I guess they'd also be in C. C is very broadly, broadly fitting. Now of these, are any of them strong enough to be in B? The time stop ability is like crazy, but then hit also has that, but like does it better. I think if, if uh, whoever the hell, I don't even remember his name, but I think if he applied himself, he could probably be in like A or B, probably. He'd like have to train really hard, but that time stop ability is crazy. Uh, the cat that, I don't even know his name, the cat can turn into things, F. Cooler, probably on the same level as Freezer, a bit stronger. Same with Freezer's dad. Oh my god, how many versions of Trunks are there? Okay, we got, we got future Trunks with blue hair. Uh, I guess that's it. I don't know, we got Trunks from, <laughs> is that from the movie? Uh, or from like the future? Okay, this Trunks is B, I think he's really strong. This Trunks from, I'm assuming from Dragon Ball Z, is probably C. But he is also like, um, I guess I would also classify uh, this, this Trunks, I would say is the Trunks after the Cell Saga. He'd probably be pretty similar to the Trunks in Dragon Ball Super. So I'll put him in B. All right, we're speeding this up, all right? It's taking way too long. Um, I've read all the messages. Okay, Dr. Jero, D. Android 19 or whatever number, C. One of the androids from the movie, probably also C. Another android from the movie, also C. Android 16, once again, C. Probably. Yamcha D. 17. If this is like 17 from Dragon Ball Super, then he's going... He's already in here, right? Okay, this is 17 from the show before... Um, or I guess before Cell kills him. C. Android 18, right there too. Cell? Cell, you know what? I think Cell is deserving of B. He's too strong to be in this category, but he's also probably a little bit too weak to be in the B category, but I think he deserves it. I think he's done enough. Um, is this Janemba? Wait, no. Hachiak or Janemba? Janemba. Janemba. No. Chi... Was that how you say it? Hachi... Yeah, it's not, it's not it. Wait. Hachiak. Well, I don't know how strong he is. I, I remember him from one cutscene in Raging Boss 2, so... It's probably C. I don't know. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. C tier. Uh, he's probably stronger than Trunks. Is he stronger than Trunks? No, probably not. This is a tough one. I could see this in B or probably C as well. I don't know. Cyber... Not Cyber. What if Cell Jr. is C as well? My god, everyone's going in C. Icon, probably C. I don't even know who this is. Is this Bojack? C. Metal Cooler, also C. Oh my god, maybe we should split up C, but I'm not doing that. Dragon Ball is fairly clear cut with power scaling. Pretty much every arc has higher power characters than the last. Newer Shonen are uh, much more up to interpretation with the scaling. Yeah, you're probably, you're certainly right about that. However, Metal Cooler, wait, is that who that is? He's pretty strong. He took over a planet. I feel like if you gave him time to like, take over more planets or whatever, I feel like this guy would easily be deserving of B tier here, all right? So he's getting a B tier. Roshi, Roshi like, no, Roshi's probably, Roshi's E tier. He may be D, but I'll put him in E for this point. Is this Bardock, I assume? D, there you go, you're welcome Bardock. Same with the future Gohan, he's strong, but you know what? Not as strong as the androids. Oh my god, is this, I assume this is Cell Saga Vegeta? Like before meeting Cell, probably C. Uh, Buhan, no, not Buhan, Jesus, Mystic Gohan, easily B, Videl, E, I mean, yeah, E, but also maybe, actually, now, who's in D, actually? Actually, there's not a single character here that Videl could beat. Maybe she could beat the carrot, but the carrot can turn people into, I mean, the bunny can turn people into carrots, so she's staying in E. The Satan, I mean, he can fight. All the ones in F, I don't, I've never seen them fight. Maybe May can fight, I have no idea. Um, but Mr. Satan can go in E. Uh, Goten, probably C. Same with Young Trunks, Teen Trunks, no, what, are they, what do they even call him? Young Trunks, Baby Trunks, Bu Bubbity, Bubbity, Bibbity, Bubbity. I mean, he is, he can mind control. He, he, I guess he took over Vegeta, but that was kind of at Vegeta's request. I'd put him in D, but his ability is decently strong. Tien, I mean, he's in the Universal Tournament arc. He's probably in C, but then so is Krillin. I feel like Tien could beat Krillin. All right, Debora, obviously C. No, actually he's up there with Cell now that I think about it, TBNB. Boo, A, definitely. Are they gonna be all the versions of Boo? Okay, wait a minute. Maybe we'll maybe we'll move down that version of Boo. Uh, is that all of them? No, Evil Boo or the the when he was brown or whatever. Was he was he ever brown? Wait, Evil Boo. What color was Evil Boo? I guess he's brown or is it like a dark purple? I don't know. All right, Super Boo, A, 
This one can go into B because it's pretty fat and weak. Kid Buu can go in A. Supreme Kai is like a B. Uh, no, C. C for Supreme Kai. Kibito is probably also C, but um, I could see them going in D. Margin Vegeta, probably B. I feel like this, the Buu saga is probably where you start getting all the characters into B. So we're saying three it would be B. Popo. How strong do I? I think Popo is probably D level. I don't know if Popo could beat Pan, for instance, or GT Pan. Um, Kami, D. Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, B. Chiaotzu, probably E. I've never seen Chiaotzu do anything of note. Uh, is that Vegeta? Probably A. Ub is also A. No, actually, Ub probably isn't stronger than Khalif. No, yeah, and Ub would probably be similar to Boo, I guess. And Android 17 is pretty strong. Okay, this is Janemba, right? Janemba's like definitely A. Even though, no, Janemba required a uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta, I think, to beat him. So I think it's pretty, pretty damn strong. I have absolutely no idea who this is. Oh, wait, is it the guy that this guy beats with his sword or whatever? I have absolutely no idea. But looking by, judging by his design and where he comes in the story, probably B, right? And I assume this guy is also B because of just how crazy strong he is. No, you know what? We're moving them both down to C. Gogeta, A. Is this Vegeta's brother or something or cousin? I don't know, C. I don't think I've ever seen them. I don't even know if that episode got dubbed. All right, Beerus. Now we're getting back into the S tiers, but also probably, you know, A to No. Beerus is like implied to be one of the stronger gods of destruction. So I'd put him in S. Super Saiyan God is like A. Some red ribbon guy, probably F. I doubt he ever does any fighting. Uh, some Super Saiyan Blue version of Goku can be an A. Golden Freezer can be A as well. Chumper can also be A. Vados, that's a name, right? She could be an S. We'll rank the S later. Uh, Kaba? I don't know. Is that his name? I don't remember. Probably B. Yeah, so probably weaker than Khalifla. Where's uh, K uh, Kefla? No, I already did that. Yeah, an A. Hit? Hit could... He has the potential to move up to S eventually if he keeps training. But right now, I think he's still in A. You know, he couldn't even... He tried to kill Jiren that one time, but Jiren just grabbed his hand really quickly. So I think he's still in A. He's weaker than Chompa. Chompa's probably the... Um, I don't know. I Topo could probably beat Chompa, maybe. Is there anyone else in here? <laughs> Surprisingly, I feel like... I feel like the yellow Piccolo or whatever, orange Piccolo is like really strong. I feel like they powered him up way too much <laughs> in that movie. But yeah. Oh my god. Now the random rogue gallery in Universe 7 or 6 or whatever. 6? Probably B, right? The Winnie the Pooh freezer knockoff guy. Oh, not A, Jesus. I feel like it'd be super lame if Goku has already surpassed Beerus without a rematch. Surely Beerus is still stronger. Mm. Well, I don't know about the manga, but based on the anime, Goku can't control the Ultra Instinct form or the Mastered Ultra Instinct form. It's just, I think, if I was to rank, like, based on my intuition, based on the things they say in the anime, I feel like the Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku is probably stronger than Beerus, but he can't get into that state. Like, it's too, he doesn't know how to control it. I think if he can control it, he'd probably be as strong as Beerus. He'd challenge Beerus to a fight, and it'd probably be like Goku would, I mean, maybe it'd be a stalemate, or like Goku would, like, slightly win. But that's my impression. Uh, whoever, the person that Krillin thought was a girl, I don't know, F, Bulma, F, the Great Saiyan Man, probably C. He's like, like Super Saiyan 2, but like, weaker, way weaker. But also, like, yeah, like, way weaker, actually. Chi Chi's probably E tier. I feel like, no, yeah, she used to be a fighter when she was younger. Shenron. Hmm. I feel like Shenron is C tier because I don't feel like Shenron could execute a wish that could like destroy any of these characters. I think these are too strong. These guys are probably out of Shenron's abilities. So I'd put him in like the top of C. I feel like Shenron is probably Super Saiyan 2 level. Even though Piccolo technically kills him, I think, in Dragon Ball. But I don't care, all right? He's the top of C. This is the strongest Super Saiyan 2 in my opinion. This is Broly, some version of Broly. Broly, I'm going to say this is the nerfed version of Broly. So he's going to go in C tier. Great, another version of uh, Vegeta. He can go in A because he has blue hair. And that's kind of the definition of A tier. This guy's immortal. So, I mean, he'd probably be in S tier, but like, we'll put him in A tier. I'm going to assume this is the immortal version of like when Zamasu and Goku black and merge or whatever. Super Saiyan Rose A. Um, a tier. Uh, trying to think. Stronger than Khalifa? Probably, yeah. I, I Probably. I feel like he got he got into a tough fight with a... Uh, who actually was... Did he fight Trunks or did he fight... Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, I don't remember, but he, he got a he got a bad luck with him, right? He could have gone further, I think. Oh, Broly, S tier, ridiculously strong. Kid Goku, probably D, strong, weaker than Pan, but like stronger than stronger than General Blue, I guess. And this rabbit, the guy with the gun, I thought this I thought I already ranked this guy. What would be? He'd be in B, right? Oh yeah, he is. Look at me, consistent. Dragon Ball GT Goku, probably very similar to normal Goku at the end of Boo. 
Actually, no, he can't. He can hardly go Super Saiyan 3, so probably C. Oh my gosh. Same with Vegeta. But, you know, I, I think Vegeta's probably stronger than Kid Goku. I mean, Kid GT Goku, so probably B. He's probably still been training, right, in all those years off. Mm, this guy up there in A tier somewhere. What was his name? Uh, Omega Shenron? Sin? Is that his name? Why do I have the, the idea that his name is Sin? Sin Shenron. Oh, I guess this is before he absorbs the balls or whatever. Yeah, interesting. He was crazy strong. He was beating uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Oh my god. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. However, they are all in the same tier, right? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is in A tier. Even though we never really see him do anything of note as well. I have absolutely no idea who this is. Like, I assume it's, it looks just like Goku, but I can't place... I have no idea what this is. It doesn't look like GT, but it also looks like GT's art style. But he's holding a red Dragon Ball, not a black star one, so... I have no idea. This could be the future version of Goku, like Goku's like grand grandchild or whatever from the end of GT. I don't know. But since he looks like Goku, he's going in C tier. Is this this is like that mega ultra crazy strong cell who go in A tier for the movie? Um, this version of Gohan is C. Older Go uh, Bulma is F. The normal base Piccolo is a C. Garlic Jr. is probably also a C because he like powers up that one time. It was pretty crazy. Some version of Super Saiyan Goku is probably B. This is Android 13. It's probably also C. First version of Cell is a C. This original Broly is a B. And then base Goku. I'm going to assume this is like Dragon Ball, beginning of Dragon Ball Super base Goku. He can go in B as well. Oh my god, I did it. That was the most tiring thing I've ever done. But this is the objective ranking, okay? Let's quickly rank S tier. All right. I'm surprised there's no Grand Priest here as well. Um, there should, like, he would be in S tier as well. I believe they forgot about him. Unless I, like, missed him. Anyway, Arale is uh, broken. S tier, strongest. I'd probably put a tier above, uh, Adro above. Unbeatable, literally. There we go. Then we have probably Zeno. Then, I don't know, these two are probably the same level. Whis and Vados. Um, oh, and there's also no Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegeta or Gogeta or whatever they turned into. Um, but Broly. No, wait. Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Then Jiren. No, then Bro, uh, then Beerus, then Jiren. Actually, Jiren was doing pretty well. No, he got, Jiren was like on the Master Ultra Instinct level, wasn't he? Yeah, I think I'm going to put him up there with Goku and then Beerus, then Broly, then Ultra Instinct Goku, and then Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. And there we have it. Oh my god. Okay. Amazing level of patience getting through that. True, you do have an amazing level of patience, Miller, for sticking through that, my god. Uh, thankfully, all the gods, angels, and kais aren't there. True. Seth, every Dragon Ball character ranked from weakest to strongest. We are absolutely not watching this. Should I like, are you telling me to skip to the end? Because I absolutely will. Does he do like a tier list? All right, let's watch it. And then Mirus Absorbed is strong. I thought for a second that this is a silent tier list and he doesn't talk for the whole time. That's crazy. Other than that, Treat of Danger, don't need to talk about them. Or Kale. Belmod is weird. We don't know exactly Belmod's oh, yeah, never had either. Belmod. He doesn't try pushing the top. And then Jacko. I think Jacko. Why does he think Jack? Wait, so look at this. This is this is pretty close to what I did, right? You know, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like pretty similar. Go is Llama. Uh, that's why you can see ten, a Kaioken time ten fight. Uh, he can take hits that are meant for Kefla level fighters like Gohan versus Moro. It takes no damage and can see Ultra Instinct fight when no one else can. Uh, anyway, I think that's pretty much the. Wait, there's no way Jaco is that strong, right? Whole list at the moment. There's some things you might be able to change. Obviously, this part right here is really weird because Gogeta Blue, he has no limits from what we know. So he could actually just be weaker than Goku. Wait, he has no limits? I guess if you're, I guess this is like a beat-based list, I would assume, because we've never seen him even take a single hit. Well, I guess we, maybe we've seen him take one hit. I don't know. My intuition would be he would be on the level of um, like Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct Goku, probably. That, that would be my guess. Uh, I can't tell if he's joking or not about Jaco. Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. Based on what I know about him from what you showed me, I truly, I have no idea. Could be a joke. He could be, he could have read some obscure line in the manga and it's like, well, there we go. He's just as strong. All right. Shenron saves Broly moments before he gets hit by the Kamehameha wave meant to kill him. So Dende is greater than Broly. That's kind of true. From a certain point of view, they say. Atelis really took a lot out of me. What's the uh, community ranking? I guess this is in power. It's just like how much people like them. Who do people hate? Yeah, no one recognized him. Just like me. I have no idea who this is. True. Hit is great. We love Hit. Okay. Closing that. So what do we want? Avatar? Mapper? Minecraft, I guess? I don't know. AI?